Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to set up your document cameras. This setup is for either if you're using your desktop or if you're using your new laptop, which is buried under all of my stuff here. The new laptops, those HPs that we got. Um, so pardon the clutter. You only need two cords. It's really simple. It's really easy. It's a lot less hectic than what we may have thought initially. You need your power cord. Power cord is this guy here. So all you need to do is put him in the outlet and plug him in the back. That should be the easiest step. Once you do that, this little red LED will turn on. And that's saying it's ready, it's on standby. So from here, it's receiving power. The other cord you need is this USB and USB 2.0. It's the little square trapezoid looking thing, if you can see that. Okay. So, let's unwrap this. The square trapezoidal prong will go into the white port on your camera. So that's here. Make sure that your shape lines up with the shape. The dupe. Nice and easy. And then this USB goes into your computer. You can use the front ports. There's a couple of USB ports on the back if you want to go back there. I'm going to eventually move this to the back so all of this cord is not in my way. But from here it's ready to go. Turn it on. Hit the button. The light turns blue. And you're going to your computer, and you're going to open up the camera app. This makes it really easy. You hit your, um, sorry, you hit your Windows icon, and your camera is there. If you can't find it, you can start typing in, go to the keyboard, C-A-M, and there it will pop up on your screen. You can also make a little shortcut. You can just bring it from your spot to the desktop and there's a little shortcut for you. So you open that up, and there it is. Allow access, let Windows camera access your precise location, yes or no, I'm gonna click no because I don't care where I am. And from here, it's a live stream. So I can put my hand under, all the camera is doing is sending information to your computer. And then if your board is on, if you've got a smart board or a projector, whatever's on your computer that's sending to the projector, it'll show whatever's here, right? So, and this is where it gets cool. If you want to freeze a picture, like let's say you are looking at a, I don't know, a book, and you wanna just freeze it there. You can take a picture, Oops. And you can save that for later use. You can put that in a smart, um, one of your smart notebooks for the, what are you, the smart projector. Like if you need pictures of things, you can save it instead of having to pull up your document camera every time. You can just pull that up. Um, you can take video as well. Come on in close. There's a little video icon right in the corner there. It's kind of hard. It's really small. But if you click that, it'll switch over. And now you can record video from your camera. So you can do a quick demo. You can do your scribbles, your writing, your talking. The camera's also got a microphone, so it's listening every time. So when you're done with that, you hit the stop button, and then it saves it, so you can open it up later. I believe all of the files are going to our camera folder. So to find those, you go to your documents, um, I documents, this PC. And I believe it's going in this pictures. Camera roll, yeah, so there it is. So here is our picture. Or, or not. Okay, sure. So there's our picture, and we can mark it up how we want. Or, here's our video. There it is. Okay, continue. And there's our video. Okay. And we can save this video onto our Google Drive, and use it wherever you need to. You can put it on YouTube, do whatever you want with it. So. Hopefully that clears things up. Um, real quick summary, camera in a good space 
get your power cable, get your USB cable, USB into the computer, turn on the camera app, camera, and there it is, good to go. Hope that helps. Let me know if you have any questions, and I'll see you around. Bye.